everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hello, Twin Cities. Welcome to Tea Time with the Girls Twin Cities Edition. Yes, and this is the 2021 wrap up is special. Yes, everybody has a lot to say, and we're gonna get into some really great topics. And before we begin, let's do introductions. I am Shimmer. I'm Rahima. I'm Katrina. I'm Carmen. I'm Sakura. And this is the Twin Cities Tea Time with the Girls Minneapolis Edition. All right, ladies, and so we have so much to talk about this year, so let's start off with what is our tea? Mm. Go that way, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, what, Ms. Carmen Barbie, what is your tea? My tea is I am currently starting to get my courage back in terms of my fashion. I just got a sewing machine, a $300 sewing machine. Okay. So, <laughs> computerized, so I'm trying to be bougie with it. Um, and I'm excited to see me explore that part of me that I let go years ago. So, um, yes. Can I see Carmen Couture? In the yes, you yes, you will. Yes, you will. You will. You will. You will. <laughs> All right, my turn. Let me just take a shot before I say anything. Okay, here you go. Cheers. We're so honored to have Sakura on um, this episode. This, this um, episode. You. So ladies, let's welcome her. Thank you excited to be here. This is an amazing group of ladies. Um, I'm so honored to be here. I would say the tea for me this year would be my life has turned around. I'm now in a much better place than I was a year ago. Good. Um, nice. Regarding about my personal life, my professional life, I am in a really good healthy relationship and recently just moved into a house with each other. So yes. it's a new chapter in, in my story that I am wow. What's my tea? Oh God, so much. Um, what have I been up to? You know, I just work a lot these days, but um, you know, I think I've been coming out of my shell this year, and as of lately, I've just been really interested in opening or starting my new podcast called It's Riri Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my Britney Riri's here. Okay. So that's, that's been really interesting to me because that's, you know, out of my comfort zone to do something like that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's fun. I'm, it's brand new. So we'll see. Look forward, look for it in the future. Good. Miss Katrina, what is me? your tea? Okay. My tea is, um, I don't know, honestly. I think I just am the tea. That's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. She's all the tea. <laughs> all the tea. <things. laughs> all the tea. Thank you. No, I, just like Carmen recently, I've been getting my confidence back and trying to, like, get myself out there. I've been, like, just dealing with PTSD and trauma from, like, ex-relationships and, you know, all the toxic toxicity that came with it. So I'm just putting myself back out there. I started... Corset training to start getting Woo! the waist together. Yes. I have a few surgeries coming up, so it's literally just been all about me, and I love it, and I love all you ladies, and I'm glad that we're all here. Oh, we love you. It's a, it's a wrap. 2022 is a whole new Carmen. I mean, Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> oh, 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 I know. It's, it's the shirt. It's the shirt. It's the shirt. It's the shirt. I named these two girls the naughty and nice twins. So. <laughs> the now, the now. What's your tea? <laughs> well, um, I'm working on an album. Oh, Ooh. Yes. so I've been writing more. I'm, you know, I've been in that space to where things have just been coming. Um, and it's crazy. There are things that I wrote ten years ago that I read that I go back and I go, wow, this really actually applies to my life right now. Right. And so mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. This close to scheduling my first surgery, so yes. Good. congratulations. Oh my god, I remember those first surgery days. Oh my god. I'm and I'm contemplating another surgery, but that's it. that's for another show. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. To be tuned or to be continued. continued. Yeah. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, that's when right. that's when you spill the puss. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and my tea is, is I just celebrated my five-year anniversary in my transition. Yeah. Birthday. 
So yeah, I started my medical uh, transition on December 9th of 2016. And so I'm just really honored and I'm really honored to have beautiful sisters and community. Um, and also I um, have been really on this journey of more self-confidence and uh, what I call an upglow. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. for me, like uh, I started my laser uh, journey about a year ago and I totally can tell that there is such a confidence about myself mm -hmm. that there never was before. Yeah. Um, and I've completed eight full sessions. Nice. And so, yes. yes. And I got two more. It hurts like a bitch. Okay? <laughs> um, however, the tears are not from the pain. It's from the um, just the joy of wanting to feel more happy about myself. Yeah. So, and that's um, the most important thing. Yes. So I'm so grateful about that. And then also, um, I am going to be in New Orleans. Oh, next oh month. Mardi Gras. No, well, it's not Mardi Gras. Yes. But no so. Month next month and um, actually I will be um, working with some sisters down there. Cool. Um, I'm attending the, uh, the 2022 Creating Change Conference which is the biggest LGBTQ conference in the nation and hopefully all of the sisters can go one year. Yeah. Um, but you really go and you talk a lot about social justice, arts, and you get to meet so many amazing, fabulous uh, LGBT QIA 2 plus identities and all platforms from all over the country. Yeah. So I am so excited. I've never been there before. Oh my God. I'm so, so jealous. I've never been either. Right? <laughs> so I am excited. Good. Bring back some gumbo. That's all I request. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Road trip. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's just dive right into it. Let's start off with Elliot Page, uh -huh. who is a very well known actor in Hollywood. Uh, I mean, an Academy Award winner. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a lot about him and kind of just kind of like how his journey and his transition, his transition, has really been inspiring everyone across the world. Yeah, it inspired me especially because it took me a long time to figure out who I was. Um, I didn't start transitioning until I turned 21, and that's because a lot of people judged me for who I was, and I didn't know how to begin that. Um, so looking at how he um, went through it, it kind of made me feel like I wasn't alone, and it's just really inspiring knowing that someone is out there relating to the same situation I was in. And I think, too, you know, uh, he's been in so many great movies from X Men The Last Stand, Juno, Juno uh, Whip It, uh, and kind of hearing his story about his transition really was so inspiring because I think when you are a celebrity mm -hmm. or you're a notable name, that is in Hollywood, mm -hmm. and you come out as trans, it's like, okay, yeah. wait a minute. Right. So let's talk about that. Like, what what are our thoughts on that? And, you know, by him coming out and sharing his story mm -hmm. and being in the public eye. Well, you know, a lot of people, they get blackballed when they do that. They don't, they don't really get the same respect and recognition mm -hmm. when they make those major transition in their life. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people in society don't deem that as normal. So they would kind of look at it as, well, we don't see you as who you were, so you're not really important. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's kind of a messed up thing. Mm -hmm. I am, um, I see that Elliot is getting a lot of respect for transitioning, but I just wonder if Elliot's gonna continue getting roles. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Um, yeah. It's like the general public is like accepting of Elliot's journey, but like I can't wait until Elliot is in these roles, you know, in these male character roles. Um, that's when I'll feel like Hollywood has really accepted Elliot. Right. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about his roles <clears throat> and all of the past films that he's been in and all of the awards that he's won. Do we feel like his career is not going to be as big as it was before his transition? I think so, only because a lot of people don't understand what he's going through. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when you don't understand something, you kind of shy away from it mm -hmm. um, and you shun it out. So I feel like that's kind of an obstacle that he will endure, but mm -hmm. you just have to push through, you know. I, I do think that because the space that he's in, you know, they might be a little more accepting, you know, and me personally, I, I do relate with the Elliot Pages of the world. Um, and there have been a few people that have been really inspiring because it's like, it took me a while. Like I knew, you know, like I had to connect all the dots and I knew and I fought and I 
fought against it. So for someone in a, in, in a very in a very public space to come out is very it's a I mean that's great because it shows the rest of us that we can do it too. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I mean it, it's not it's not easy. You know wow. the stuff that we go through is not easy. You know and so I applaud Elliot and people like Elliot, especially those who are at a higher level than we are. Yeah, you know, everyday people, especially. Um, transition to now yes like in hollywood that hasn't really been done before that i know of not it's, like, it's mainstream it's, like, right it's, it's, it's more the opposite right so mm-hmm. it's more i think maybe in my opinion i feel like in hollywood it's more transitioning from male to female yeah rather than from male yeah to like caitlin jenner mm-hmm. yeah right. do you think that females will have that. the male privilege that men have nowadays because a trans woman like Laverne Cox and, and the other actresses who transitioned and Caitlyn Jenner, it kind of seems like they're put into this box. Like, oh, you're a trans woman, good for you, but every role you're going to play is going to be trans, 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 trans. Do you think that that's something that Elliot is going to come across? Like, they're going to. I've heard from Elliot, like, he will. They can yeah. accept him, but are they going to treat him as just a man, or are you going to be yeah. stamped as a trans man? Like, only trans roles. Only yeah. trans roles. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's going to be probably typecast as that in Hollywood. Right. Um, he's probably not going to have the opportunity as like a cisgender male, as a leading man, or as supporting cisgender man, or something like that. It's just like in the days in you know Hollywood, in the olden days in Hollywood, where like. He had the male actors like are all in the closet. They come right. out later, and then the, they're not getting any more like roles or movies because they're yeah, gay. Exactly, and that's it's, not fair. Yeah, it's not fair. It's probably because they're worried that they're gonna um, ruin the fantasy quote okay. unquote, right. quotation quotation. Yeah, yeah, for people. That's you know, messed and up. this this also really brought something up that I wanted to talk about. Um, I really commend him for what he's doing, and I'm really proud of his journey. Mm-hmm. But I also look at like white privilege. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel I like because he is trans and he's mm-hmm. transitioning into male, mm-hmm. I look at him like, okay, he's still struggling in the sense of like coming out mm-hmm. openly in the public eye with millions of fans that he has. But then when I look at him, is there that white privilege still, as opposed to like uh, when we when we think of Pose, when we mm-hmm. think of Dominique Jackson, and we think of you know all of the MJ. actors and actresses, yeah. MJ mm-hmm. Rodriguez um, and Billy Porter, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, who is also in, is in the LGBT community? So I want to talk about white privilege. Do we still think I, that I he's agree. gonna have that privilege still? I do mm-hmm. think that because, okay. because it's inherent, you know. Yeah, he's trans, but he also looks like them. You know, we don't have that privilege, and I, 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 it's it's not going to go away just because he transitioned. She, you know, she went from she to he. I don't think that's going to change. I don't. No, I feel like it will change a little bit. I feel like the white privilege part won't change, but because of the fact that he has become who he is, I feel like that is going to be where it gets tricky because. Mm-hmm. The society is not going to look at him as someone that's normal. They're just going to look at him as someone who is a beast or a monster or just a whatever to society thinks. And I just don't agree that that's fair, but, you know, that's just the world nowadays. Um, and I just really think that as long as he continue to keep his mind focused, nothing's going to stop him. And just recently, I know this past year, he completed his top surgery. Mm-hmm. You know, congratulations, and, Elliot. Yes, yeah, so congratulations, Elliot. Congratulations, Elliot. Um, <laughs> he posted a photo on his Instagram page, and I think that as someone in our community who is transitioning, that sometimes is really like very personal. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. really private, and for him to do that for the world to see yeah. is such a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know, and I was kind of reading the comments on his Instagram page. And I know that there was good and there was negative. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I want to talk about, like, I'm wondering how he's taking those comments. I mean, I'm sure he's used to um, negative criticism when it comes mm-hmm. to a film or the work that he does in Hollywood. But yeah. I want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. I think he's just going to be sitting there like, okay, y'all can talk about me. <laughs> I think it's, I'm, yeah. I'm Elliot yeah. Page. I'm, I mean, really, mm-hmm. I'm sure he is. I'm hoping that he's like really mentally stable, stable, and that he's able to handle all those criticisms because it's not going to be easy. But I'm sure that he's 
yeah. a little bit. Yeah, hopefully as a support group or yeah. like as a team of people that back him up, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a very delicate matter for anybody coming out as anything, you know. Uh -huh. She, her, they, them. Yeah. Um, and you might have some people that'll suck you, some people that are against you, but you need like allies to run yes. you. you That's know, what makes you whole. Yeah. Yes. As long as you have a good crowd of people around you, I feel like mm -hmm. nothing can really phase you. Right. Um, and as long as you have a good head on your shoulders, you can get through anything. And I feel like um, there, there are going to be those obstacles that you have to go through in life where it's going to be difficult because of how you live your life is different from others. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Elliot Page is definitely a great person inside and out, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. Yeah. Do you think it's easier if you're rich? If you have money. A lot easier. <laughs> a yes. lot easier. So that's why I kind of jumped in there because I'm like, it's kind of easier when you have money to not care about You're something. in your big house. Well, I kind of disagree with that because I feel like money doesn't solve problems. Yeah. I feel no, like money is easier like, to keep them It's another layer of protection. Yeah. In, a way, yeah. in a way. In a way. In a way. But don't you know what they say? Money buys you what you want, but it cannot buy you happiness. Of course. You have to really think what that means because that, that saying is a lot. There's a lot of people that have money that go through yeah. drug addiction yeah. that still is depressed yes. and that, that are killing themselves, yeah. like overdosing. Mm -hmm. Like It's just a lot of things that money yeah. does not help with. I just think it's yeah. easier to go through life when you're either paying for a driver to take you from A to B so you don't have to deal with um, discrimination on the street, right? From okay. um, just regular or people. Just, just frame it in a different way. What about just being famous? Because if you're famous and you have a certain level of fame, it kind of insulates you from the, the things that a normal person, quote unquote normal person would have to do with the, like, you, like you said, the, the daily discrimination, the, whatever, you know, because- You can pay for people to almost, support you. Yeah. It's almost like you if know? you're famous, you automatically are gonna have giant support group versus like an everyday person that went through a transition you have a smaller crowd of people that are around you yeah. Elliot Page probably has 50,000 times more mm -hmm. support than like any of us had when we were well, yeah, for sure. so of course it's going to be a little bit easier but Carmen's right I mean it's, it's still I'm sure it's hard yeah of course it's hard. yeah it's hard for him because he's in the spotlight and he's in the public and that's true you know, he has eyes all over him. He has paparazzi's following him. That's mm -hmm. gotta be a lot of stress, you know. Rather, you know, if we, if he was just a normal, regular person, he would have that privacy, right? right. You know. Yeah. Can we just talk about that selfie, though? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but Elliot is mine. Like, I am so attracted to Elliot. Uh, it, yeah, had my, it had, it had, my puss purring. Okay, <laughs> oh, that purring. <laughs> See, I'm getting hot and bothered. <laughs> Take a sip. <laughs> Take a sip. Take a sip on that. To Elliot, yes. To Elliot. To Elliot to calling me. Yes. My pussy's current. Okay. <laughs> we should have like a big poster of him. Right. <laughs> I have one question related to it. Yes. So being Elliot's trans accused of mm -hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Why any of you gay a trans man? Oh, that's a good question. Would we date a trans man? I should, I already did. Oh, really? Let me tell you, it is amazing because they like <laughs> want to prove to you I'm a motherfucking man. Ooh! Build the puss. Build the puss, darling. You know what? That is so crazy. Like, you know what I just thought about? Okay, yeah, tell us how it was first. I just have a. I didn't know that he was trans, and it's funny because he didn't know that I was trans. Right. I was like, oh, I came out about it right away. And I didn't know until like. We were like in this, because it was back in Chicago, we were like in this car and making out. And of course, me being a ho ho ho, like I'm just happy and excited. I went to go grab and I was like, oh shit. I was like, okay. But I didn't like freak out. I was just like, um, he was like, yeah, I'm a trans man. I hope it doesn't like affect anything. I was like, no, you're still fine as hell. I'm still like, I'm not bothered. And he was like, well, let me put something on. I have a question. I have a question. Do you feel like maybe to both knew but didn't like you played it off. You know what I'm saying? That's like, kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I had a feeling. I was like, there's something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something. And it's kind of like that chase that like 
the not knowing of it all mm -hmm. is maybe exciting. this is what makes it exciting. Yeah. yeah. It's like when you bite into that chocolate candy bar and it's like that caramel desire. Mm. Right? Yeah. The caramel <laughs> filling. Yes. With a little great. bit of sea salt. So he was fine. <laughs> he was fine. He was covered in tattoos, deep voice. Ooh. Oh, so yes. what happened? Was it just a Okay, podcast? Katrina. No, we dated. We did it for like three months and then we just realized that we were better off as friends, but I we, we still kept doing yeah. it. Yeah. So it was still like yeah. over an opportunity that yeah. it could have been something. It was an opportunity that yeah. I took and took and took and took and took again. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking it. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He knows who he is. <laughs> There's actually, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. There's, is this actually common in other countries too where uh, like a, in Thailand, where they have like the trans female date like the trans guy a lot, yeah. or like a, they call them a tom yeah. if they haven't fully transitioned yet. But wow. that's really common and accepted in wow. Thailand, where I'm born. But right. Yeah. 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 I think it's just because yeah. of the level of understanding each other, you yeah. know, making yeah. each other feel comfortable. That's how it just works. It makes sense. You know? right? Yeah, yeah. Right. it doesn't matter what you have below yeah. there, it's just as long as you guys, you two, make each other happy. Yeah. I think take care as of far as. This year, I've been very open to dating trans men. I know, I know, crazy, right? But yeah, I don't know what happened to me, but I'm very open to it because I'm like, why wouldn't I? Yeah. And second of all, there's a lot of fine trans men. Where do you there. find trans men to date? Like, where, where are you guys? <laughs> There's this one. That, there's this <laughs> one on my Facebook. Right I'm gonna call him out. Call him out. Call him out. We spill the puss, honey. Spill the puss. Because he was so fine. <laughs> Had me pursuing him, I was in the DMs. Oh, that's usually the other way around. Right. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, what's up? Are you single? Are you attracted to trans girls like myself?" Um, Ashan, Ooh. if you're listening, I think you're really cute. Oh, I love it. I know you're in a relationship, but oh if that God. breakup oh, hit me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The purse will be purring, darling. The purse will be purring. On that note, <laughs> on that note we're going to take a sip on that note. Take a sip. Take a sip. Cheers. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Cheers. I'm not going to cheers that guy. No, I don't support that. <laughs> I said, if he breaks up with right. her. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I would def definitely <laughs> date a trans man only because I want to see what that experience is about. see what they feel. Maybe I want to see what that's Let about. Let me tell you, too. it's great. And then when you get into an argument with them, yeah, you can go sleep in the bed. I'm taking this out of the drawer. Bye bye. See, and that's the crazy thing. I'm an arguer. Like I can fight in a in a relationship. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like I really want to see if like. But I'm in a relationship already, so that can't even be a thing. Aww. But if I didn't work out with the current guy that I'm with, I would be open to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Carmen, look at us. Ooh. I know, we're 22. Like, yes. so yes. new things. New we're, open. Open. we're open. I recently played a game in this building at an art installation and a book release. And it was for um, their name is Nance. Oh, oh you got Nance as a partner. <laughs> I don't know if he's born to watch this, but Nance has a partner. They both fight. So. Oh, you're saying you could take both of them. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know. Oh, now you're selling it. Okay. All right. All right. I'm clean. I come I'm back. I'm a keeper. Me. She's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a throttle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a throttle. <laughs> Have you ever been with a trans man? I have not. Are you open? No. I am, yeah, I'm open. Um, just as matter as they, you know, they're nice and our person clicks, yeah. um, we get along, we connect at the deeper um, level, then yeah, I'm open to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know what me. I was thinking? Uh -huh. Like, that's why I kind of got out of that. I, maybe it's the older you get, you know, the more wiser you are or whatever, but mm -hmm. I just like, when I was, feeling like, oh, I would never date a trans man. I was starting to think like, well, I'm just being just like these yeah. cisgender mm -hmm. heterosexual people. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't I date my own people? Yeah. You know? And it's not even about your own yeah. people. It's just about people in general. People like, in general. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you don't want to, because we have to think, we have to step back and think, like, we don't want to put others in boxes because people already put us in boxes and right. they'll say, well, I wouldn't date this because of this and this and this. Yeah. 
you will never find love if you do that. Like, that's just being realistic. Like, you will never find love. You will never find genuine, you know, care. And it's just being open-minded. You know, I feel like the life that we live, we are all automatically open-minded. We have so, to be. Right. How can we be closed-minded and be living Because that would be life. contradicting to our so, lives. I was doing that for the longest time. Yeah. I had to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I learned. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) He knows who he is. Thanks. Yeah, I would say, like, um, you know, it's just who you are attracted to. It just doesn't matter physically what they have down below there. Because I know I'm attracted to the male energy. Yeah, me too. And if I find out that they're a trans male, that wouldn't be a deal breaker. I'm not giving them a chance. Yeah. I actually have never dated a trans man before, you know, and my post is always purr and listen, you know, um, but I have seen some really sexy ass trans men. I'm like, what's, what's his name? name? They are I'm awful. like, uh, Lacey, 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 if you're watching yeah. this, this oh month, he gets my, my studio, who are yeah. hooing in a hind. <laughs> that body, that <laughs> body, that body. Um, you know, I don't know. I think that's the one place in my life that I'm struggling the most is a relationship. I'm a, sing- I'm a single woman, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm always looking for love and desire. But I think sometimes, you know, they get your nipples or really hard and yeah. they get you like, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. Shimmer. <laughs> Shimmer. There's a whole other side to her. <laughs> there there is. Is. <laughs> um, Right. <laughs> but I have never dated a trans man before. Okay. Um, I think I would be open to it. You know, I think... Like, you know, I think love is love and, and exactly. you want to love who you want to love. Yeah. And you, the, mm-hmm. I feel like that person will come to you or you'll go to them yes. and it will all connect. I'm yeah. not against it. I think absolutely, why not? You know, because sometimes if that dick ain't going to work it, you exactly. know, somewhere uh-huh. else, that's a, that's a straight, a straight piece. Uh-huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my, my trans brother, honey. Okay. So, there will be those moments where yes. that guy cannot fulfill <laughs> what, what you would want. So that's but more. maybe a trans man can know. fulfill <laughs> way more. Yeah. Than, they will. You know what they I mean? Do. It's like <laughs> they do. They, they do. do. She's like confirming. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina went all the way. I don't know if Katrina went all the way. We are willing to go all the way. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just like having memories, and I'm like, man, that looks so hot. Oh my Ooh, god! See, girl, now you got me hot. So we're getting our, 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 you know, we don't want to get our kitties into too much of a club. <laughs> so we're going to close out uh, this portion with Elliot Page. But again, we're just really proud of him. Yeah. Just his beautiful journey, his transition. Elliot, we love you here from the Twin Cities. Mwah. Uh, congratulations on your transition and, and yourself. It was, uh, it yes. was fire. You're killing and it. And continue to be your authentic self. Don't let anybody judgment deter you from your career and all the things that you have to do in the future to inspire others. Yes. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Tea Time with the Girls, the Twin Twin Cities Cities edition. edition. Uh, We would like to welcome a special guest, Amira. She is the newest member of the Trans Equity Council for the city of Minneapolis. Good. And then April 3rd, 
2021, I married the love of my life. Oh my god. Oh, So that's what I do to, you know, like pay the bills okay. and stuff. Um, uh, I also do a lot of activism work. So I was part of the Muslim Youth Leadership Council for a number of years, which focuses on like uh, visibility of queer transgender Muslims. And I like wow. doing some education around that. We need more people like you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I do it just thinking of the babies, you know, like all of those Muslims that haven't come out yet. Yeah. And they need to see themselves somewhere in media, yeah. right? Have you seen a transgender Muslim on TV ever? No, not exactly. Not. Yeah. So the visibility is such an important thing to see yourself reflected in so that you can actualize yourself. That's right. So that's that's why um, I'm really, you know, passionate about my activism work. Mm -hmm. um, it's also why I want to get into modeling. I did my very first model a photo shoot a couple weeks ago. Okay, go okay, yeah. girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So we also wanted to get into other topics. Um, just this moment. Um, it's a topic that I feel like a lot of girls don't have, and we kind of want to understand more. You know, what that situation mm -hmm. tell. Um, so what is your thoughts? You know? So do do you know what happened? I had heard about it, but I don't know, like, very all laid out in one place. Okay. Every so, it's so one day in Chicago, and he is suspect. He was he he said that he was attacked by two men wearing MAGA hats, and that it was racially motivated as well as, as well as it was like it was a hate crime. The facts come out, and it was alleged that he planned it. So it was a set, it wasn't real. Um, and my issue with that is, and, and I get that there, this is like, there's so many layers to it because you know, you're black and you're queer. Um, I just feel like it wasn't the best look for the community because it kind of ruins it for the rest of us. You know, if, if something happens, it's like, okay, well there's, you know, just as well. It, it, you know, there's always that fallback for it. it are you sure it happened? And I, it just, it, I'm, I mean, I'm glad that he's he's getting that his, he had to face justice, but at the same time, there's so many of us that don't get justice for other things. Yeah, you know? that's kind of like the boy who cried wall. Yeah. yeah, you can't play around with stuff like that, especially in the, the lives that we go through. Like mm -hmm. there are people that are actually going through it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it happened or not because I wasn't in that situation, so mm -hmm. I can't really judge. But I can still have an opinion on what has been brought to my attention. Yeah. And I feel like if it is something that he's been playing around with, th those are situations that can get people really hurt because yeah. they won't take us seriously when we exactly. report it to the cops. Um, so I just think that he's probably needs to reflect on his actions in terms of respecting the lives of others because he is also a public person that's in the LGBT community that people look at us and be like, okay, well, you know, this is a gay person in the public eye and there's gay people in the regular world. Are you like this person? But everyone is different. <coughs> yeah, because again, representation is so important because people who don't know anything about queer or trans people, people who don't know anyone like us personally, they default to what they hear in the media. Right. And so if something, if Jesse Smollett is out here trying to make news, but like it's fake, it's a boy who cried wolf, well then when there's actual wolves, no one's going to believe us, you know? Right. And there are. Because yeah, trans and queer people, you know, especially people, trans women of color, you know, we've had how many died this past year? Oh, all right. 50. Yeah. 50. It's, it's a big deal, yeah. right? We have much shorter life expectancies than, like, uh, um, non, you know, yeah, cis trans women. Yeah, yeah, cisgender folks. And I, I just think that it's not, it, it's not fair to the rest of us because, again, these people put us in that box already and so you know with our safety and our humanity is at stake there might not be someone to come to our aid uh -huh. 
just because of this this one situation, and I don't really. I'm not mad at him. Yeah. Shit yeah. happens. It does. But at the same time, you know, you have to own up to what you did. Yeah. I find this all with his purpose. Now, I'm I'm gonna also speak in the terms of because we don't know if it's true or not. If it's true, I'm so deeply sorry for what he had to go through. But if it was all a hoax, I don't feel sorry because you can't play around with people with hype like that. It's just not fair and it's not realistic. It's not fair. Yeah. Agreed. You said it perfectly. What else am I supposed to ask? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely something that I hope that Jesse Smollett understands that the community supports you, but you also have to be authentic in terms of your life and representing others because you are someone who is seen constantly. So I'm just kind of remember that. There's that balance that we all have to be playing right between wanting to to be ourselves and, mm-hmm. and in charge of our own actions, but the fact that everything we do reflects upon the entire community. Yeah. Right? So sometimes, you know, like you've got to have, you've always got to keep this in a balance, right? Mm-hmm. I know like I'm fucking have a Libra. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> so and so I mean Libras love that whole, you know, balance, balance. But but it's true, right? When I um was younger before I came out as transgender, right? I was um I was very plugged into the Muslim community of St. Louis. It's my hometown. Shout out to St. Louis. Okay. 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 <laughs> but um, yeah, so the Muslim community there saw me actually because um, as, as a representation, like a good idol or example to like show the rest of the world to see that like Muslims are not terrorists. Muslims are very good right. kids, right? And they showed me off because I'm actually a Hafiza. So that is a title given to someone who has memorized the entire Quran in Arabic cover to cover. Oh, wow. Uh, 604 pages, right? So I actually did go through that process of memorizing the whole uh, Quran um, for my sixth and seventh grade oh, years. That's good. So yeah, so I have, so I was like, the whole community put their faith in me to be a representative of them, right? So now I felt this whole pressure. I'm representing my people. I have to be perfect. Yeah. But then when I try to be perfect, right? I, 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 work out the cracks start showing up under the pressure. And the more cracks, you know, cracked open, I realized I was trans. Yeah. Right? And then I was like, well, how do I come out without letting down my entire community? Yeah. Right? So there, it was it was such a hard thing and eventually I I said to myself, like, I have to choose myself. Because if I do not choose myself, I'm going to die. Right. Yeah, and you're gonna lose yourself. Exactly. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of people don't understand that we can easily lose ourselves if we don't figure out who we are. And a lot of people don't live long enough to be who they are and they will commit suicide because of the fears of like what you said, people not accepting you and having to put this perfect facade on and it just eventually deteriorates you as a person. And you have to not let that affect you. And I feel like you are one of those people that don't let it affect you. And and I will say I'm trying. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I don't care anymore. You know, yeah. wow. And I'm, I'm me. Mm-hmm. You know, but I do have to remember. I'm a I'm a member of my community. You know, everybody knows my family, and I'm not just representing myself. You know, when people see me, they see you know I might be the only queer trans person that they ever come in contact with. So. I don't want, unless it's, unless it's warranted, I don't want to leave a bad taste in someone's mouth. You know, so I try to run my mouth in public, I keep my head high, and mm-hmm. you know, I just, I really just, I want to be cognizant of the fact that people are watching. Yeah. You know, people, there, there are people who watch, and you know, there's, there might be some kid somewhere that sees me and goes, wow, you know, I can be that person mm-hmm. if that's all. I, I want to be a light to somebody, and I'm, I'm glad that you're a light and yeah. you're a few. So I applaud that. Yeah. Well, can, we, can we get some music? Can we get some music? Can we get some music? So keep up the good work. Um, you you know, you're truly really inspiring. Um, your story is inspiring. Um, you are a great person. I met you before this. So, um, <laughs> I think that people will look up to you and be like, oh, I do like her. So, so you, far, two people have told me that I'm their trans inspiration oh, to come out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, keep being you. Yeah, so we're going to wrap that up. Um, thank you for tuning in uh, with Amira. 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 There you go. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> Welcome back to Tea Time with the Girls Twin Cities. Um, let's get into some more topics. City Star. 
I want to really understand every girl's aspect of this girl. Um, I have my own opinions, but I want to hear others first. So let's start. I think she's wrong. She dirty. Well, let's talk about what is she dirty for. <laughs> let's explain who she is. Yeah. yeah. So Sydney Star is a personal reality star. Um, she also um, filmed Baddies ATL and Love and Hip Hop New York. Um, she is the one of the other transgender girls that are in the public eye. Um, she doesn't make a lot of best decisions in terms of how she carries herself. Um, she's a very pretty girl. Let's get that clear. She's yeah, very gorgeous. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. But in terms of how she carries herself and how the public sees her, um, I just don't think that the community understands that she is her separate person. Um, and that's what kind of frustrates, I think, a lot of us girls because um, they kind of include us all in the same. Um, but that's just my opinion. I haven't known that, but anybody else have any? I do think that her actions are detrimental to us. Just like we were talking about Jussie. Yeah. Or Juicy. Um, <laughs> When you do don't when you do certain things, it leaves a stain on all of us. When people know who you are, because they they associate us with that, mm-hmm. and we you know we're we're not all the same, but at the same time, you know people see us as all the same. They lump us together. So then you know you're out here, and you and I'm not saying you're tricking anyone. You know she's not doing that type of thing, but. You know, if the pulling stunts like the chingy thing, you know, yeah. when you weren't really dating him, but you made it seem like you were dating him, that, you know, that also can have a negative effect on people as well. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you can apologize after the fact what the damage has been done. Yes, it's kind of like insulting because we don't want to be viewed as these people that are very messy and um, like to trick people or that is not who we are. Um, a lot of us are very authentic and like to be honest with the people that we are involved with. And she just doesn't really represent that very well. You know? But is this such a big deal? Like, I mean, I think any that, other person that gets with somebody and, and, you know, puts it out on blast for everybody to see, she's just a trans girl doing the same yeah, thing. But, but why? The and then it's like, it's not even that like she's putting like, she on blast or she's putting whoever she's putting herself on blast because like you're, she's making it seem like there's something wrong with dating a trans woman like when she outs these guys she's like oh yeah i'm dating this person and i'm a trans and she says the word tranny all the time and i'm like girl like you're not putting these guys on blast you're making yourself look bad you're making it seem like it's a bad thing to be attracted to a trans woman it's also so I don't agree. But, but also like her actions could get a normal a normal girl like us killed you know what i mean like that mm-hmm. that's not something that we should i don't care how it get us because someone um, might be scared to like date us and then that, if they do start dating that's us. That's how like, but that's how a lot of trans women are murdered. It's like you're in contact with it's somebody. It's the partner. It's the partner. Okay. It's I mean, I don't think like City Star is so being stealthy and, and, and not telling her dude. She's very she's open trans. about it, but she makes it seem so, like it's a bad thing though. Like so when she, she like when she talks about the guys that she's dating, it's like she's making it like a point like look at this person they're like trans woman look at them but look you're, at you're them. out you're out Why? she's doing the same thing cat steps do but like why is it the whole I don't, that she did it. I don't i don't feel like the out like why if you if you actually cared truly cared about somebody you know putting their personal business because i mean we are, we are special <laughs> but you know it's so it's a, it's a it's a it's not the easiest thing for a lot of people to say i'm a, i'm attracted to you know, trans women, trans men, people who are different than what's normal. So well, what she's doing is just not hiding. You know, yeah. you know the girls I think that take pictures of the guys that they um, just slept with, and the guys will be sleeping. Right. You know, um, next and be like, and they post it on their Instagram and be like, look who it is. Mm-hmm. But do you condone that though? Do you think I that's cute? I don't condone that behavior. I just feel like we. Especially in our community, really um, come for Sydney for that, but she's really only doing what others. And do you also think like I mean, it's like how many trans women really get the chance to be famous? So mm-hmm. it's also like she just, I mean, she's in the moment. Everyone also she is. Yeah. Don't you think that that kind of like pop culture? It maybe gets to her. She's like, I want more. I want more. I want more. And the only way I can be famous is by being like this. I mean, look at Natalie Nunn. She's a famous bad girl, and so she's Public famous for being messy. It works. For Public scandals. It works for people. Scandals, it yeah. works for people. I think for me, when I when I think of Sydney Star, I think of classy plus trans.
smashing. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. again, she's a, she's a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Girl, she. I said she was classy and trashy, so there's a difference. <laughs> so, not just <laughs> so classy because she's a beautiful girl. She, I mean, I think that we all idolize her in some sense. Yeah. You know, honestly, like we, I mean, I'm sure we get on Instagram and we're like, oh, she's beautiful because she's a very beautiful trans woman, mm -hmm. you know, especially in our community and being out there in the public eye again. Mm -hmm. But also, I think she's trashy in the fact that the way she personifies herself. Not only her being a trans woman, not that, but the way that she puts herself out there, like right, where she's rude and she's ignorant and she talks trash, mm -hmm. especially when you're out there doing an interview mm -hmm. in the public eye, and then yet she calls and says, well, our community is already suffering so much, we're already being targeted in so many ways, but yet you're condoning that behavior. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think she's classy and trashy. Yeah, I agree. Good. I feel like she's a very beautiful girl. I don't know how many times we can express that. Mental health, yeah. right? So, what 
do we actually know how she feels behind closed doors when the cameras are not rolling, right? right. Do we do we do we know maybe she actually is suffering from a mental illness and all is all of this behavior that she's portraying on television mm -hmm. causing her to feel some kind of way? Yeah, I think so. Working in the mental health field myself, I think she really does have some demons. I can just tell by looking at her that she's a very troubled person that has to put on this front and be extra. Who really, I know that there's girls out there, I know, because I know some of them, that really are like that and they like to be ratchet and wild and be Why all are you looking there. at me? Like I was not looking at you. I was looking at you. I was looking at Quinn, first of all. Real Quinn, you're ratchet. But you know who? I mean, there's some girls. There's some people who like to be like, that. yes, there is. But do you think she really likes putting? Do you think she really enjoys waking up and putting on her makeup and looking all bomb and going, okay, I gotta go be extra, and be crazy? Yeah. She's probably really I'm sad. I'm sure she deals with that. It's a, it's an image, right? Right. She's pretending. Yeah. I, I just feel like personally, I wouldn't want to be looked at in a bad light from my sister trans girls. Mm -hmm. I feel like I would want them to look at me and be like. I love how she presents herself. I love how she do this. No matter what she goes through in life, no amount of money will make her change who she is. That was not okay. okay. Would you prefer that over being looked at as a hooker on the streets? I mean, that's worse. Exactly. So, like, would you prefer a Sydney Star image that is problematic in itself or us trans girls being you know, the stereotypical of like, oh, we're street walkers, or, mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. like, if you had to choose, which one would you choose? Right. Obviously, we would choose um, I feel above like, that. Right? Yeah, I feel like there would be no choice, because we have multiple choices. Like, there's right. no limiting yourself to this particular standard type of life when you have so many different opportunities in front of you. Yeah, she yeah. has walked in doors that a lot of us haven't. Like she has open doors. Yes. She's been in positions that we weren't in before. Yeah. But do you feel like we're not capable of being? Because just because of who she is and the way she looks, that doesn't discredit who we are. We can do that job just as well as I she mean, can. Yeah. But I just I didn't see anyone like myself mm -hmm. be in those positions mm -hmm. until I saw her. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it was Pose, so, you know, like, when I saw MJ and India, like, moving how they moved and the rest of the girls on the show, um, it just made me, it, that, that's, that, some, those are my role models. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to look at, like, a Sydney star and be like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. right. Because that's yeah. not, first of all, if you know me, that's not my personality it's a at all. Kind of it's not a hate train. It's not a hate train. It's not a hate train. No. Because they all said that she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. We did it. Oh, wait, we're not hating. You can be the most beautiful girl in the world, but have a stank personality right. that just makes you ugly. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I think kind of wrapping that up, like, so, you know, uh, there was a lot of headlines in the news about her as well with Darius McQuarrie, who is best known for being on the show, yeah. 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 Um, which was a huge show, especially for like an American black like family, family, right? Yeah. And so, kind of growing up with that show, he was like such an iconic pop culture figure. Mm -hmm. And then, if I'm not mistaken, he actually admitted that he had dated, or he has a um, attraction, attraction yeah. to trans women. Yeah. And I believe that they dated, and then he was getting a lot of hate and a lot of like, oh my god, you know, now he's gay, mm -hmm. he's dating a trans woman. And then woman. he retracted that, because right. he did a live shortly after all of that hit the air, and saying that him and Sydney had no relation, they weren't friends, like, he That's really like really, he really bashed her, That's and I feel like, I felt so sad and embarrassed for her because I feel like that's so down putting in terms of that when you did this photo shoot with this girl, you did this video with this girl, and then you turn around and then say I don't I don't know her, I don't know why she's saying what she's saying. Like you don't have to be afraid of who you are. If you love who you like, love who you like. Don't let society de deter you away from that. And I feel like that's what. He did, and he made Sydney look like an even more badder person yeah, because yeah. the way that she presented it, it just made her look bad. So shame on him too, because yeah. you know I agree with Carmen one hundred percent. Because yes, and I think maybe it's that perception that we had um, in our last conversation.
conversation mm -hmm. about acceptance, right? And um, there's a category of like if a if a straight male dates a trans woman, all of a sudden, like, oh my God. So maybe there was that fear around mm -hmm. him being a public figure, a black man, mm -hmm. and now he has an attraction to a trans woman. So now maybe there was that that pressure of like, oh my God, it's all over the headlines. Right. Is his career now going to fail because of it? So no. I don't feel like a percent. Society will yeah. take everything mm -hmm. from him because mm -hmm. he's attracted to a trans woman. Right. And then that goes back to what we were talking about with Elliot Page. Like, that is uh, a white trans man versus a uh, straight heterosexual male that is attracted to a trans woman. They both will go through different ups and downs in their career because of who they are. And but that so way it would have more leniency than yeah, yeah, their yeah. 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 So I kind of look at it as like, no offense, but I'm going to just say this because this is real. I think that the, this is where the white privilege cards, white privilege card will come in. I feel like Ellie would get that role mm -hmm. booked then Darius McCrary would write. Yeah. So that's kind of what I feel. And I feel, oh, yeah. I feel like, mm -hmm. I feel though, um, but shame on him too because I feel you're right, he did do her dirty yeah. because this all came out and you know, it was he was excited, he professed his attraction to trans women, and then he's gonna go on and change the story. Yeah. Like, but he put her also in that bad situation. Right. So shame on you as well. Yeah. For making her look bad. Yeah. And for You're that, just, and for that, Sydney, yeah. because I know that seem like we're bashing you. Um, I do deeply. I'm sorry that you have to go through that. Um, if you are watching this, because no one deserves to be humiliated like that. Right. And I really hope that you learn and grow in that situation. So did he retract on that? He denied that he dated her. Yeah. Or even talk to her, or uh, even associated with but her. But he didn't deny that. You saw that picture. Basically, when he told when he told the brother, he had nothing to do with her. He was speaking in terms of the entire community. Right. Like, if you, and if you, there's a picture of the first picture that I saw, and that didn't look like they were just friends. Right. He had his whole hand on like, her big old booty. It looked like it looked like a couple's right. picture. And yep. My thing is, they look so cute together. We, like, we're, 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 yeah. like we're in a community, and I can attest to this that like when you you know what you like, you like what you like, mm -hmm. and. We live in a world, a society that, that demonizes if you, if you move away from what's considered normal. Yeah. Um, and I don't think, I don't consider men who are attracted to trans women gay. For, let, let me, there's a caveat to that. There's, there's, so there, if you don't, if you date trans women and you view trans women as women, as women, then there's a, okay, that's, that's totally fine. But it's like when we start fetishizing, mm -hmm. that's when, that's when we get into the, Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And that takes us into our next topic because being trans and being in a relationship, um, I feel like I'm currently in a relationship and it's very difficult sometimes because I kind of feel like he has his moments where he's comfortable and he has his moments where he's not. And it, it kind of gets difficult because I'm like, well, how much longer can I endure this uncertainty mm -hmm. where it's not stable or if he's still having doubts? Like, I know that we've been together for almost nine years now, and, you know, when I first met him, it was mostly just sex in the beginning, but as time kind of goes on, you kind of start to learn more about that person, and I kind of fell in love with him, you know, into that situation, and I just feel like being trans and being in a relationship is very, very difficult, because you don't know if that person is going to be there for you through and through. Yes, absolutely. It's hard. Yeah. Like, I'm in a relationship too. Mm -hmm. It depends on the individual of how like um, comfortable he is to be like out in public with you or introduce you to his family. It depends on like at what level that they are. Yeah. Like, they don't care what other people think about them because they only care about you. Yeah, that's what really matter to them. That's yeah. What, yeah. See, that's what like, you like, to me. That's what you yeah. He's like, oh, I don't care about what other people think. Mm -hmm. But then when I be like, well, let's do this, let's do that. Sometimes he'll be like, yeah. Sometimes he'll be like, no. But then he say no. I don't know if he's saying no from a standpoint of like scared, like fear. Okay. So yeah. on a scale percentage wise, mm -hmm. how do you, what's the number of acceptance? I think probably like a seven or an eight. Mm -hmm. Or like 70%? Cause he met my entire family. So it's like, I know that he's not scared to the point where like, oh, I don't want to meet your family. Um, I don't want to, I just don't want to meet you and be around you. But it's like, he's almost there, but not. 
Right. So yeah, it's like I want him to like go a little bit further. Like since 2013 to 2021, at this point, I need a ring. Mm. Have you met his family? Yes. Have you met his family? Yeah. 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 Ye
um, he doesn't want to be in public with his relationship, or is she keeping it secret because she doesn't want it? I feel like if that was the case, try to get with him. Yeah, I feel like if that was the case, I feel like she would have never brought him up in general. Mm -hmm. I feel like if she want, if he wanted to be kept a secret, or if she wanted to keep up a secret, she would have never gave that inkling that there was someone that was mysterious. Yeah, I feel like she would have just been like, you know, I'm single, I'm by myself, I'm just living life. Right. Now, if you're saying that there's a special person in your life but you choose not to say who they are, that's you either respecting their privacy or you choosing to be private with your life. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I don't think that that necessarily means okay. that. And what if what if what if her, what if the new boo is is famous too? You know, I was thinking so the same thing. We don't know. You know, that's why that's why that's why I, that's why I, I, res I respect I respect her, her I respect her her choices. Yeah, it's totally her. She's she's just probably just acknowledging that she's not single or available on the market anymore. So people right. could just back off. Yeah, um, and after her, that's it. I think she's just her proud thing to be a trans woman and to wait and be like, I'm in a relationship. Exactly. A happy one. Yeah. I kind of disagree that we have on both of it, to be honest with you, because I feel like I do give her, you know, credit for keeping it a secret because it is her relationship. But then I also feel like, hey, I'm dating this side of this person, and you know, I want to share. But I think as a trans woman, I would love to talk about who I is. But then again, I also kind of understand like this person that she's dating. Mm -hmm. Is again here comes what we, what we just talked about with Darius McCrary, the fear of like if I'm gonna date this trans woman who mm -hmm. is a high profile celebrity, yeah. are people gonna sit there and, and kind of you know cancel this person mm -hmm. or again are they considered gay? So I don't know, but I kind of disagree and agree with both because uh, sometimes I think it's a beautiful thing, especially in our community, to celebrate that. Yeah, but I mean, then again, I also um, do you know, respect her privacy, and if she so chooses want to keep it a secret, that's up to her. Yeah. I keep all my relationships a secret. Whenever I'm dating somebody, except for like, I mean like, with, like if it's a long relationship, like my ex for six years, I mean my friends are going to know him eventually because my friends are like my family. Right. But like when I was dating my most recent ex, uh, um, I didn't tell nobody who he was, you will never see a picture of me and him on Facebook and all this. Because it, it, there is a little bit of that fear, like, dang, well, what if here comes the hater, girl? Oh, I used to be in his DMs, and we slept together, and we did this and this and this. So I can, that's why I keep all my relationships yeah. a secret, because everybody in Minneapolis has slept with everybody. <laughs> everybody, well, everybody. Everybody. Everybody has somebody. Everybody yeah. knows somebody. Everybody. <laughs> and I don't need all that mess, you know, so that I can yeah. see why she keeps it a secret. Because imagine if, if, some, if Laverne Cox says, oh, this is my man, how many trans women are going to flood into his DMs? Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. And be, oh, oh well, if he likes her, then here goes me. Yeah. Even the gay guys will do it. Yeah. We talked about that yeah. in the last episode. Right. Oh, if he likes her, then he'll like me. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Like, like with my relationship, like my guy, um, I don't keep him private um, because he doesn't like tell me, like, oh, don't tell, tell the world. Like, you don't tell me to tell that. I post pictures, I record videos of us, um, and he don't have a problem with it at all. And I feel like it just depends so that on the person. So that works about 95%. Yeah, he has those like, moments where like, he's like, I don't care. But it's just like the meeting the parents and stuff like that, meeting his family, that's the only real issue. But other than that, I love him dearly. Maybe he's yeah. protecting you. You think mm, so? Yeah. But I yeah. think he's protecting because if I was willing to let go of my own family, if they didn't accept me for who I am, you don't need to protect me from yours because I can already protect myself. Like, he probably doesn't even want you to even have to deal with you in that situation. If, yeah. if, he, if, he, if he respects me, he would give me the ability to make that decision for myself. Right. Because at the end of the day, I want, I want those, the blessings from your family knowing that they are safe, knowing that you're okay with me. Right. And knowing that I'm not going to harm you. I want them to know who you're with all the time, knowing that I'm going to make sure that you're okay. Right. Okay, Carmen. <laughs> so not only did she was on the view, but she was just uh, she was the the host and commentator um, on the red carpet at the People's Choice Awards. And
she threw a little shade. What? Yeah, you know, like no disrespect to her, but but this is the tea. What's the tea? What's the tea? She's not a role model. And then the whole dick plastered across these people's faces that we idolize. Marsha P. Johnson. Marsha P. Johnson. It's like, why are you, why are you so messy? Like, well, she's an influencer. She's a really, really popular influencer, especially in the trans community. A beauty um, guru. Yeah, a beauty guru. She got her own makeup line. Um, and she's really gorgeous, like Katrina said. Um, but she just recently dropped a song. What was it called? Dick. Dick. And then she also did the like, marmalade yeah. with some other Yeah, look at me. That was iconic. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that was her. I wish I was in that video. Girl, we can do it. Let's take that. <laughs> Influenced by the yeah, she I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just gonna bash. Has anybody heard the song? No. I think I heard it once. What'd you think of it? I thought the song was catchy and I thought everyone was hot. That's, I was looking at it, I was like, this is all eye candy, mm -hmm. and this is her aesthetic, right? It's just very, like, Hollywood, you know, sexy, you know, that's, that's what she's selling. Mm -hmm. And so I see her as, like, a trans girl who's, like, trying to live the fantasy and sell the fantasy, yeah. right? right? So it's, it's kind of like a little Nas X, in the sense that he's trying to <coughs> um, have, like, you know, sing, sing about, you know, like, Topping on, uh, like, yeah, bottom on the low, but I top shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> trying to make gay mm -hmm. sex. Yeah. That, like, like, you know, mainstream thing, because, like, straight people sing about sex all the time, right? Yeah. And so we, it's like, so I see it as, like, it's a trashy thing in general, but <laughs> we're trying to make it queer inclusiveness to the trashiness. Of yes. Now, right? So I totally agree with you. Yeah. So I'm not gonna this, go ahead. Yeah. So this dick music video is this the one where she's like has like the guy that she supposedly slept with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Messy. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I didn't think much of it. I thought that was like kind of interesting. It was like all for entertainment, yeah. you know. I think she just wanted to say her piece. Yeah. And I think she's a very successful trans woman. I mean, yeah. yeah. She I is. admire her. Yeah. You know, she has her own makeup. Yeah, she's Mexican. Yeah. Oh, she's Mexican. She's, yeah, she's Mexican. Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah. And she's Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. And she's Leo. Yeah. That solves it all. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. We got her. <laughs> well, I think that's just her job, though, too, to make that money and pussy stunt. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's pussy stunt. I can be. American Matter. I'm forgetting the bad. Yeah. I don't like her. I don't, but I can say that I, I'm not a hater either. Like, she is. 
she has done things like where she has an ounce of my respect is where the whole Victoria's Secret thing came up. Yeah. And where she was like, oh, well, we're not part of your fantasy. Well, guess what? I'll make our own fantasy. And she did that whole oh, commercial. I, in that moment, I was like, yes, bro. Yes. That's what you should be doing with your platform. But then she does things like, oh, Tyga's in my inbox. What I said earlier, who fucking cares? Right. Yeah. Because like, that doesn't benefit anyone else in this world knowing that Tyga was in but that doesn't mean what I, mean. I still got rent to pay. I still got to go to work. How does Tiger like in trans women? Right. That's something you should keep proud of. Right. Keep it between you. Keep that moment special. He's attracted to you, girl. Get your fantasy. Live your life. Right. And mind your, like, just keep your mouth shut. Why do you have to put him on blast? Now he's just ruined it for God knows how many other trans women that probably he could have right. hit up or dated. What, what, if, what if there was just like an elegant kind Once of Once a chaser, elegant. What if they treat them like that? Is mm-hmm. it okay for them to dump on because that is similar. It is similar. Y'all not scared of me. Why are you? Because you're the hater. I'm not a hater. I just don't. I don't agree with how she goes about things. It's, yeah. it's messy, and it's you can be, you can make a point and be like this symbol, but you don't have to be right. messy. So you feel the same way I feel about Sydney Star. Like I, I admire her. I look up to her as like this person in the community that's like this beautiful trans girl, but she just doesn't make the best choices. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it makes you turn off to her because it's like, you know, you can do so much better mm-hmm. with your platform. And that she knows better. Let's be real. Like Nikita Dragon knows better. She went from being this little tiny YouTuber and then transitioning on YouTube, like with Gigi Gorgeous and everybody else, and she made a big name for herself and she had little pop-up stores and everything. She knows what she's doing. You know how to make right and wrong decisions. You know the difference. Right. Yeah. That, but like that's why she also knows why being messy gets you. Oh, uh, that, that's what we like, yeah. yeah. really said earlier. Yeah. Public so scandal. Yeah. That's what gets you know it. Yes. But I think what she did and putting a dick over Marsha P. Johnson's face no, was, that was, wrong. was that's absolutely wrong. disrespectful. That's wrong. That's I'm wrong. sorry. Like there to me, I think that was probably the lowest, uh, most form of disrespect that she, any trans girl. Any trans girl. Any trans girl. girl it wasn't that big of a deal. Do you think it was okay. intentionally disrespectful, or do you think she was just trying to like be artistic? No, no, no. no. But so no, why? Just, why dick? No, because think about why? this. Think about this. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the fans. Right. <laughs> she's kind of like our Martin Luther King, right? Oh, no, she's oh, like, no, oh, Marsha P. Oh, Johnson. Oh, okay. Oh, Marsha P. Johnson. 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 If it wasn't for Marsha. We might not be here right now. Exactly. Having <laughs> you probably don't have as much respect as we have now. So, but what I'm respect. saying is, even just as black people, I want to fight somebody. If, if, if especially another non-black person, that's it, like did that to Martin, to Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, someone like that. I feel like you guys are just taking it too seriously. Yeah. It's all fine. She's the president of the Dragon Why do you feel that we're taking it too seriously? I'm very friends. I love Nikita. Love her makeup, and I think that. That doesn't mean she's not a trans person. Where's the egg, girl? Where's the egg? You got an egg too? Nikita. I love it. I love it. And we're not going to agree on everything, yeah. right? And so in the heat of the moment, it was just 
really disrespectful for what she did. Yeah. And I'm going to stand to my decision. So, but I still don't want to. She's like, aww. 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 Well, that's the one, too. A better positive topic. So, Cora, what you got for us? I got a Santa hat full of questions. I wonder what they could be. But Ooh. we're going to be picking them up and answering all the questions to the best of her ability. But, but first, let's take a shot. Oh, yes. Yes. Who would you? Uh, 
Wow, thanks. Okay. Glad you wanted a ratchet question. Yeah. Of course I got this one. You got a ratchet question? Yes, girl. It says, who would you be a hoe for? Trey, Lil Nas, or Chris Brown? Uh, Chris Brown's a woman beater and I'd rip his ass. Lil Nas, is that Lil Nas X? Yes. Lil Nas? Okay, well, he's gay. Uh, Drake. Yeah, Drake. Oh. Yeah. 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 Why do they like this though? I should have should. Yeah, he has a big old schlong. So does Drake. <laughs> How do you know? Because I saw him on the Chris Brown. If you're watching, give him my DMs. Me too. Her DMs are down here. Hey, <laughs> 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 hey, 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 She's still trying to unfold Can I it. Can I unfold it? <laughs> you gotta like get an iron and flatten it out. Shut up. What w- oh, I got, I got the good thoughtful question. What is that? What would be your advice for a young trans girl? Aww. Oh, I love this question. I love that question. It's going to make me cry. Oh, my advice would be to be yourself and to never Look to the camera. Man. My advice would be to be yourself and... To never let anyone tell you what you can't be or what you can't do. Mm. And, le- and lean on those in the community who love you and who care about you. Because there's always going to be somebody in your corner. I didn't think there was going to be anybody in my corner. But I was pleasantly surprised. So you do the same. And just take care of yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's that's okay. Okay. She's the last one. Save your best for last. Wait, so. No, there's two more. Secure. There's two more. Let's go. If you could kick a problematic, okay, if you could kick a problematic LGBTQ celebrity. Out of the community. Ooh, Ooh. 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 that's a good one. one. I like that. No, it's not good. I got a couple of people that don't get the food. Ooh, I want to know. Oh, shit. Ooh, Ooh. I, I know this one. The guy, the guy who does Travis Scott. No, is that the guy? You know, Ooh. Wait, Travis Scott is around. Yeah, lips, 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 hips, heels. Oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. 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 Can I ask why? What do you do? He's a singer. I know that one. <laughs> That's what he did. I know it. Oh, like, he annoys you. Yeah, he's annoying. Yeah. And he tr- he is what, um, how do I say this? Lil Nas X is for our community mm-hmm. what Tondra Call tries to be. Oh, wow. the saint of it. Okay. So, so, he, so he's, it's like he's Carrie, he's Carrie Hilson to Beyonce. Oh, oh, I'm not even going to tell you what I'm not going to let y'all do is drag Tyler Paul like that because I actually met Tyler Paul and I went to his concert and he's actually a great artist. So I'm not going to let any of y'all drag him like that. Oh, uh, we, we can do that. Oh, we can do that. We're not allowed to do that. We can do that. Don't throw anything. Don't throw anything. Throw something. Throw the table. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Male, mm-hmm. and we're not, you know, ashamed of it. We're 
proud of it. So right. that's why she had the dick on the, on the forehead. And yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm not proud. Yes, but of course you, I had a dick. Right. But yeah. do you feel like that's defining us to one category? Like, even though, like, she is, I understand what you're saying in terms of, like, what she, met, the messages, like, where we came from, but do you feel like that's where we're going? Like, that's our future? Because I feel like you can say that that's our past, but mm -hmm. all that matters is our present and our future, how we carry ourselves from here on out. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say it, it, it wouldn't be a really good, like, representation of all us either because right. there's some of us that haven't been going through the surgery mm -hmm. um, or as, you know that are kind of on the fence and don't want the surgery but it makes you a trans woman regardless what yeah. you decide if you want to have the surgery or not or have you know right. have it removed so um, I would say like the dick word on the forehead was just like don't oh, forget right. oh, yeah it's just don't forget who you are yeah. don't forget who you are Stay, okay. stay where you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. I think it's important. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Wouldn't you want people to forget that though? I wouldn't you want to do. Be you I, do. I feel like I wouldn't want people to remember that about me. Mm -hmm. I feel like all like all that matters is I remember that. Because mm -hmm. I'm the one who lived it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like everyone else's opinion, they should even have a memory or a thought. Right. Anything right. Like yeah. yeah. It depends on the individual. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it could be a very So I personally wouldn't right. post that. Delicate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I, I wouldn't make, you know, see it as a big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the advantage, right? Because, like, home folks, you know, that's all they see when they see it. So it's like, yeah, putting it right on the forehead yeah. so everyone knows exactly what you think of. And it's more like, than that. Right? We're, 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 yeah, we're, we're human beings. We're more than that. You know, we're more than just that label. Yeah. We are our own individual. We come in all shapes, colors, and sizes, and we're all beautiful. Okay, okay. and that All right, so thank you so much today for tuning in to Tea Time with the Girls Minneapolis Edition. Thank you so much for being present with us and experiencing these conversations. Um, we really want to thank you for your time and we want to close it out. Yes, please show your love and support if you want to continue seeing more content like this. Um, click like and subscribe on the YouTube channel, Tea Time. Tea Time Network. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications when we get new content. Please check it out. We got a lot of new content and different, uh, like, there's London Tea Time, there's New York Tea Time. Please check those girls out. Those are really, really LA Tea Time. LA Tea Time show. Yeah. And don't forget to go to the Tea Time Network at Instagram page and you can also hit the link, link tree slash Tea Time Network and support. And we also want to give a big, amazing shout out to Ashley Reed. For her beautiful and the power of celebrating trans women voices, women of color coming together to talk about so many beautiful things. And uh, let's close up with a, you know, a merry, merry Christmas. Like, what are we going to do for the holidays? Uh, so, Ricky, what goes up with you? I'm going to party hardy. I am going back to Chicago to see my family because I love them and I miss them. So I'll be there for about a week for Christmas. I have to work Christmas, but oh, my yeah. birth my birthday is the thirtieth. So, oh okay, okay turn up. I might be a little, little tipsy. Can be a ho ho ho. Come on, see that. I'll be with my own head. Okay. Um, my wife and I are going on a trip to Atlanta, Georgia. We stand with another trans girl. She's real close. She makes 200k a year. Um, she's got a whole house, and we're gonna stay with her. I just like that you said puss. I just like. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my plans are for the holidays to spend time with your family, regardless if they're your real family or your chosen family. Um, and we're gonna just enjoy our new place, our new house, for our first time Christmas there. So yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna be with my family. Um, we're gonna have matching pajamas. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then the food. Uh, Can I get a plate? Okay. Yeah, you have to be obvious. Oh, yeah. Okay. Save me the money. My mom cooked down. Save me the money. She literally cooked the money. I'm hungry. She sold the meal. What's her best dish? Oh, spaghetti and um, dressing and turkey. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.